William Samoy Araproto is a schemer. Today, William Ruto appointed David Maraga as the chair of a task force which is supposed to look at the welfare of the police. David Maraga is the immediate former chief justice. And for those who follow the politics of this country, he made history as the chief justice who nullified a presidential election. David Maraga also became one of the chief justices in the country to call for impeachment of the president, then Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. So William Ruto, in his own wisdom, via a special gazette notice, appointed him to chair the task force. Let me just read for you what the task force is all about. The gazette notice is number 15792. The National Task Force on Improvement of the Terms and Conditions of Service and Other reforms for members of the National Police Service and Kenya Prison Service. And it says the task force shall comprise David Kenami Maraga, chairperson, and Carol Kariuki, vice chairperson. It has several members there. I think the members could be 20 something. It has several people there. And the objective of this task force, according to the Gazette notice, is to identify the legal, policy, administrative, institutional, and operational uh, constraint on the effective service delivery by the National Police Service. That's one. Number two, identify and recommend legal, legal policy, administrative, institutional, and operational reforms in the National Police Service and Prison Service for effective service delivery. C is to review and recommend improvement on the terms and conditions of the service. So basically, that's the main thing. But I don't want to get into that. I want us to look at the political aspect of this appointment. Before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support, because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is now. Let us get back to the main issue. The appointment of David Maraga to chair the police task force. Now, why do you think William Ruto settled on David Maraga? Because remember two important things. David Maraga nullified the 2020, 2017 general election. And William Ruto actually made a promise that he was going to, <laughs> to revisit that judgment. And for five years, Maraga was under a lot of pressure from Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta until his term came to an end. Also remember, David Maraga also called for the impeachment of Uhuru Kenyatta. After Uhuru Kenyatta refused to disband parliament over gender rule. So William Ruto has decided today to appoint him. Why do you think he settled on Maraga? Number one, the reason why he settled on Maraga is judiciary capture. I've always opined on this platform that William Ruto has captured judiciary. He has captured parliament. William Ruto has captured the church. He's trying to capture everything. Even the civil society has been captured. He did that strategically even before the last election. And, you know, like someone like now, the, the, the Chief Justice, Martha Kome today in this country, cannot even accept to open comment section on her Twitter. Because the moment she will do that, Kenyans will be on her. But the fact is, majority of Kenyans believes that William Ruto strategically is capturing the judiciary. First of all, he operationalized their funds, judiciary funds, and that's made him very close to the judiciary. When Uru was the president, he kept on fighting with the judiciary, and almost all judgments were ruled against him. If you've been observing of late, every other person who has been supporting Ruto and has always been charged is being freed. So William Ruto is capturing judiciary. By appointing Maraga, judiciary will view Ruto as someone who 
is keen on supporting them. The fact is, as the chair of this task force, he will work very closely with William Ruto. And that's what Ruto wants. It means there's no way Maraga can actually criticize this very, very government. So that's the first objective, which has perfectly achieved. Number two is that William Ruto is looking for credibility. I don't know how many commissions William Ruto has appointed since he took over. And, you know, William Ruto has been making appointments in the past year, and Kenyans have been questioning some of those appointments, the credibility of those appointments. Now, who can question the credibility of Justice Maraga? Nobody. So it means this particular commission is actually going to have the credibility which it requires. It will have the support of majority of Kenyans. That is the truth. Because even Raluniga supporters, after the nullification of the 2017 election, believes that Maraga is credible. That you can't corrupt Maraga. We saw Maraga fighting with, with uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. So what Ruto wanted is that he wanted the process to be a bit credible because people have always cr criticized some of his appointments. Number three, William Ruto is also sending a coded message to Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Why do I say so? If you study this appointment and you look at the way William Ruto has been reversing some of Uhuru Kenyatta's policies, Take even, for example, the case of Meguna Meguna, whose passport was uh, withdrawn. When William Ruto came into power, the first thing he gave Meguna Meguna his passport. That's something Uhuru could not do. So Ruto is telling Uhuru Kenyatta that the people you fought, I'm going to work with them. Basically, Ruto is showing Uhuru Kenyatta that middle finger. For me, that's what He's doing by appointing Maraga. Because if you look at it critically and even ask yourself, Ruto is the president of the Republic of Kenya, then he's appointing someone who called for impeachment of a president. He was part of that government. If that's not showing someone middle finger, what is it? I don't know. And number four, the fourth objective is that William Ruto is also looking at goosey politics. If you look at uh, the results of 2022 election, Raleigh Odinga actually won in Gusi. William Ruto is keen on changing that because he believes that Raleigh Odinga won because of one man, Fred Okengo Matiangi. Fred Okengo Matiangi is no longer a cabinet secretary, which means today in Gusi, the, the most powerful individual is actually Mochogu. But Muchogu is, uh, for me, not really someone who is forceful and cannot make things work. So to persuade the Gusi to support William Ruto, he has gone out there and looked for a gentleman with a big name in the Gusi region. That gentleman is called David Maraga. So David Maraga has the name. During the 2017-2022 election, during Uru Kenyatta's time, Gusi had Matiangi. They had Maraga until the time Maraga retired. So basically, if you ask me, William Ruto is trying to venture or to persuade the Gusi region using uh, Maraga. Again, the other day you saw Gusi members of parliament coming together because they felt that the permanent secretaries, when Ruto made those appointments, he forgot the Gusi region and they made them, they complained. So by making this appointment, Ruto is actually addressing the goosey complaints that they were being overlooked. So now they're being told, okay, your guy is here, he has a name, he has everything. So as we speak now, for me, if you ask me, Ruto is keen on goosey politics. And lastly, 2027 election. That is what Ruto is looking for. He's looking for goosey support. He's looking for judiciary. Because if you have the current chief justice, the former chief justice together on your side tell me what will stop the supreme court from uh, ruling in your favor because you normally you know in this country judiciary is one of the most corrupt institutions in this country so deals are normally cut left right and center so if you have these two individuals it means they have their you know 
if you want things to move within the judiciary, you have Sholei on the other side, you have the two here, what will stop Ruto from achieving whatever he wants? For me, I don't see anything. William Ruto is keen on 2027 politics. And for me, I don't know who will be able to stop him. Maybe we should not even go for elections. I don't know what you think. That's my take. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.